Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be looking at the 70 My Smart Dash Cam Pro. So I think in this day and age, everyone needs a dash cam and not only is it for your own safety, but it's for proof or evidence just in case anything happens on the road. So there's a lot of dash cams on the market, but this one should be one of the better ones. So we're gonna unbox it, set it up and do some test footage. All right, so I got two boxes. This one here has the camera in it and the other one is a mount. So the camera box is quite nice. There's a plastic film around it. Let's go ahead and get that off. So I really like the presentation because they're using gold as their accent color and it's quite nice actually. Feels premium. So here we have some specs. All right, so let's open this thing up. So the top just slides up and this is what we're greeted with. Very interesting. So as you can see guys already that this is not a normal kind of dash cam, but definitely a more unique one. All right, let's go ahead and pull it out. So this looks like is the screen here. So on the front here, it looks like there's a sticker that explains kind of like what the buttons do. So there's four buttons down here and they are function buttons. And then we have a bigger button down here and that is the power button. And if you hold that for 15 seconds, it's a reset button. So going to the right side here, it looks like we have a micro SD card slot, a micro USB power plug. And if we go to the other side, we have a microphone hole looks like for sound and way out here sticking out looks like we have the camera itself which has 70 my on it and it looks like a LED light here and if we go around we can see that the camera lens is on this side and one of the cool things about this dash cam is that you're able to manually move the camera around by twisting it so if you're gonna mount this on your windshield like this you know you have this function here you can go as low as that right there so or as high as that so so the lens element looks quite nice and high quality there so this should be a higher quality kind of dash cam but we will check that out in the test footage and so here on the very back looks like we have connector here and I think this is an external connector for a GPS which is not included with the dash cam if you wanted to have GPS and there's more specs on the inside there so that's pretty much the whole thing and we do have another logo here that's subtle so it's quite straightforward it seems simple enough let's go ahead and see what else is in the box so it looks like we have a bracket with a sticky on one side and I'm guessing that probably okay yeah so it does go here on the back of the camera kind of slides on so you can stick this to your window and then this will just slide right on it like that so here it looks like we have a baggie with some stickers in it so it looks like you would use these little stickers here to stick to the window first and then you would stick the mount to this they even have a little outline here that you know matches this mount here so I'm guessing this is gonna hold a lot better than if you would just use the sticker in the back of the mount so in the baggie we also have looks like a little manual it kind of shows us and tells us how to use it so let's see what else is in this box quite a long micro USB cable to USB and then we also have the power adapter that will plug into the 12 volt socket and the cool thing about this one is it has two ports so you can you know power the camera while maybe charging your phone also and also there is a tool I guess this tool is for uh, aiding in the installation of this cable so since you want to route it around plastics or underneath plastics this is kind of like a little pry tool that can help out with you know removing those or prying them up so you can squeeze the cable in so I think that's what that's for that's really nice and it actually it's pretty tough very nice little quality tool here definitely nice that they include something like this so that's all the components of the dash cam but we do have another box here which is a GPS mount holder so I'm not sure exactly what this is for but I guess let's find out okay so it looks like a unit of some sort that replaces the bracket okay so actually guys I think this is the GPS itself because it looks like it has the the connectors there to connect so I guess when you order the one with the GPS option it'll come with that let's see there's a little manual in here so this comes as an accessory to the 70 my dash cam pro and it enables the features ADAS to function on the device all right, very cool. So it looks like we do have the GPS function in this mount here. So if you don't buy the GPS option, you'll get just this mount, normal mount here. But if you do get the GPS option, this is the mount that it'll come with in a separate box. So this should mount the same way. It should just slide together and those pins there would match with the pins there. And we're gonna have a connection to the GPS, just like that. 
So if you need those functions, you might want to consider getting the kit with the GPS. You know, if you just want strictly a dash cam without the GPS function, and then you know you don't have to get this piece here. So. All right guys, so before we go and install it, let's go ahead and power it on here and see if we can check out some of the functions and the displays that this unit has. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the USB power here. All right, so it powered on. So I need, I still do need to remove this little cover from the front. Okay, so it's very tinted. That's why we couldn't see much. So initially the screen looks very nice and bright and actually very high quality. And so we do have a little light here that glows, it's blue. All right guys, so let's see if we can run through some of this steps here. So this is what you're greeted with, welcome. And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna use these function buttons here on the bottom to go through your settings. So here's an arrow, so we're gonna click this button here. So here's kind of telling us what this light does. So green means recording, blue means non-recording, and red means error. So it's blue right now, so that means it's not recording. So the power button is down here, and you press and hold it to power it off and tap to power on. So you do have voice control with this product and here are some of the voice controls that you can say like take a picture, turn on Unable to perform this operation. All right, so it's actually working right now. Record video. Unable to perform this operation. Okay, so you can, you know, turn the screen on and off too, so. All right, very very cool. Let's go to the next step here. So here's where you're going to set the date. So it's 2019. I'm not sure what day it is today, but in any case, and you can set the time here so or something. All right, so here it's asking us for an option if we wanted to enable parking surveillance. So this is going to monitor the car while it's parked and if it gets some kind of shakes or, you know, somebody bumps into you, it's going to be able to record that. So I guess we will enable that. And another cool thing is, is that you can have the app here communicate with your dash cam for photos and videos. So if you wanted that option, you could download the dash cam pro app. All right, so it looks like we're all set up and ready to roll. And here you guys, insert SD card. Okay, it's asking us to insert the SD card. So yeah, this thing is really like on the ball of getting us going here. So it actually won't let me do anything until I put an SD card in it. And this light here is red now because of that. All right, so we're gonna install an SD card. I'm just installing a 32 gig here. Please format SD card. All right, so we're gonna click format. Yeah, this thing is really nice. It guides you through everything. All right, so, okay, so we're recording already. That was fast. Here you can guys kind of see the angle that we can record and it goes down from here. So it doesn't flip all the way around. You know, it only has this motion here and that's it. And another thing to know guys is the camera is way on this side. So if you're going to try to mount this in the center of your windshield, your camera is still going to be off to one side a bit. So I kind of wish they would have put the camera on this side. That way you can have the screen closer to you and the camera, you know, towards the middle more. But it doesn't really matter. All right, so it is recording, but it does turn off the screen and the light here indicates that it's still recording. So here it looks like we have a few options. So the audio is recording now. I guess this is no audio. So I guess we'll just record the audio and see what that sounds like. Let's see what this button Start does. Start recording emergency video. So the little flag that we clicked on the second button here, emergency video. So like if you wanted this file to be saved separately from just random files that, you know, get overwritten, that's what that is. So, so let's say you saw something or something happened and you want to re save that. It'll actually... Recording complete. It'll save it before that time, if that makes sense. It'll save the past up to that point plus you know whatever after that so so here looks like we have another option okay so this is looking at what you've recorded Shawline stops recording here we can see what we've recorded and there's the emergency one we recorded and we can play back it right here on the camera that's pretty cool this might be quite important too that you can play things back right there because if you had an accident or an incident happened you're able to you know show the police or the law enforcement whoever proof right away that you know what happened if that was necessary so and here you can delete it let's go ahead and delete that so here we have the last option which is basically our settings Wi-Fi hotspot, so I'm guessing that's to connect to the phone maybe. Collision sensitivity, so this is how sensitive it is when the camera feels like, you know, somebody hit the car or whatever. When it triggers the emergency recording. SD format, we've done that. System timeline, okay, so this is the timing. Okay, so here we have the option for the screen. Okay, you can have it always on. Okay, so if you want your screen always on, you can have that option. 
Pretty cool, so let's do that. So then we have advanced settings, power on Wi-Fi, video coding, and then the resolution, guys, as you can see, it has a really good resolution. Speaker volume high, power on sound, parking surveillance on, and the GPS. Okay, so our GPS is actually disabled right now. I guess we need to enable that function. All right, so we're enabled there. So I think we're gonna have to calibrate this thing. I'm not sure exactly how this works, but in the car, not here, so. So after advance, we have system updates. So I guess you can update this whole thing. And then we have restore factory settings and about. And that is basically everything. So quite a simple and intuitive little dash cam. If you're the kind of person that just likes to plug it in, it just works, so you don't have to know too much. So it kind of sets you up from the start and you're good to go. So very simple and easy to use. All right, so let's go install this thing in the car and get some footage. All right guys, so we're in the car and all we need to do now is to use this provided little clear sticker to put on the windshield here anywhere. All right, so my sticker is on. You can barely see it. I think I could have done a little better job. I have a couple air bubbles in there, but no big deal. So now we're just gonna take the sticker off the camera and then we're just gonna simply stick it onto here, just like that. So we're holding on. So obviously this needs to be a little bit higher, but I put it down a little lower so I can show you guys a little better. And then you're gonna route your cable, you know, through however you think you should route it in your vehicle. So as you power your car on, the camera is gonna turn on automatically. So the screen turns on, but it's kinda hard for me to show you guys on camera because it's daylight over here. And plus it's angled at a weird way down. And that's one of the reasons I was saying, you know, it needs to be a little bit higher too, because the angle of the screen would be better too. So one of the cool things is, is that if you didn't want to leave your dash cam on the car for some odd reason, you can just pull it out. It's right easy because it slides right out. So that part is pretty cool. Be aware of the vehicle ahead. Be 
aware of the vehicle ahead. Motion detected for the vehicle ahead. Motion detected for the vehicle ahead. detected for the vehicle ahead. Alright guys, so after a few days of using this thing, I'm actually quite impressed with what it has to offer. I didn't realize that some of the functions that it has are quite unique and actually pretty cool. As you saw there in the video, every time that a car in front of you moves, let's say if you're not paying attention and looking down or whatever, if a car in front of you moves, it tells you that the vehicle, you know, has moved in front of you. So you're not going to be like ever at the point where you're distracted and you're not going, you know, if there's a car in front of you. So that's pretty cool because, you know, if you're at the a person that gets distracted easily on traffic lights this is quite nice and also I noticed that you know if you drive a little more aggressive if you're coming up to a car really fast it'll warn you that you're approaching quicker than the car in front of you is driving so that's kind of interesting a lot of those commands are a little bit delayed but they're still really nice to have for sure and the last thing that this thing had that I thought was really cool is that it actually has lane departure warning so basically if you like get off of your lane it'll warn you that you know you're you're departing your lane so so I think it's worth getting the GPS option because it gives you all those nice features the driving assistant features I'm not sure exactly which ones work without it or not but you know the price difference is not very big with this thing compared to it by itself so I think it's worth it so if you're interested in a camera like this I'm gonna leave some links in the description where you can get it it's from Amazon so check that out and if you enjoyed this video then hit that like button if you want to see more videos like this and other things I review on this channel and you're not subscribed then hit that subscribe button and as always thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one